everyone, welcome back to Little Green Farmhouse. Today I'm here to do a little tutorial about making soap. Now let me just preface this by saying this isn't about making, like making your soap from scratch, um, like with lye and stuff like that. This is not this video, but this is about taking some uh, basic materials for making soap, melting it down, adding in fragrances and color and different things like that and putting them into cute little molds um, that you can then give as gifts or use for yourself. So my husband and I ordered a couple of kits, a few different kinds. Uh, one kit has a base of shea butter soap. The other one, it has a base of goat's milk soap. And then um, one of them is lavender hibiscus and the other one is sage basil mint. Uh, so anyway, my husband was the one who was really interested in doing this. So I'm going to film him making the soap and you'll see all of the steps for doing this. One other thing I wanted to add in is that we added in some pieces of loofah sponge to our soap and that was not included in the kit. So if you wanted to do that, you could just get yourself a loofah and cut it. You'll see my husband do that in this video. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you how it's done. So John's cutting the loofah. Why'd you make that so thin? I'm just cutting this one off because it's at an angle. Oh. Because I want it to I want to have a flat sur a straight yeah. surface here. So he's just using a bread knife, bread cutter, to cut the loofah pieces. And then these are the the mold, this is the mold, and then he's got a slice in each one. And then um, he's going to pour the soap in. So the idea is that the soap gets all into the loofah, around the loofah, and then when you use the soap, as it starts to um, uh, get used up, you get to a part that's scrubby, and so you, you kind of can exfoliate while you're using soap. We actually got a, a bar of soap like that years and years ago and thought, gosh, we should make those. And here we are like 15 years later, finally making it. Okay. So this is the kit. It comes from Chelsea's Soap Garden, uh, Chelsea's Soap Garden .com, or we, we actually bought it off of Amazon. So you can just go and look for it there. I think it was $25 a kit. Uh, or somewhere around there. You could certainly make soap for a lot less than that, but we didn't, we've never done this before, and so we just decided to get a kit. So this is shea butter based. Another kit we have is uh, goat milk, goat's milk based. So there's this, there's the mint leaf. This is, you know, decorative to put on the soap. You can hear my husband, he's busily <laughs> working away. This is a lime green color, and so you can make it as dark or as light as you want it to be. This is basil, sage, and mint fragrance oil. This is basil essential oil. It comes with two little capsules, vitamin E capsules, but we have found that they, you know, vitamin E capsules, capsules are kind of squishy. These are really hard. They must be old. Uh, we tried to cut some open. It was not easy. And then this they call a pipette, and it's used for getting out um, the different things from here. Be sure to wash it out in between using the different fragrances and colors. So that's the kit. Oh, the kit also comes with a soap mold, different ones. For Here's one soap mold that was in one of our kits. Here's one that was in another, so slightly different. It also includes... Uh, contents list and it also includes fairly detailed instructions for how to do this. There's nothing difficult about making these soaps but uh, if you've never done it before having instructions like this is really helpful. Okay so first off the soap has to be melted and so he's cutting it into smaller pieces and then it will melt easier. You can either melt in a double boiler or in um, the microwave. And so um, what what he did was 
the microwave method, but you want to make sure that it's not going to boil or it will ruin the soap. So you um, zap it for 15 seconds at a time. Is that right? Yes. Over here you can see that he's already made some soap. So this is just a silicone mold. You don't have to do this. We grew loofahs. They're just a squash plant actually. And then when they dry out, they have this skeleton. So we cut, uh, he cut them into pieces and put them in here just so that it has a nice little exfoliating effect. But you don't have to do that. You can just pour the soap in without anything in it. Okay, so this is one bar of the soap. And what kind is this one? Shea butter. Shea butter soap mix. The other one we did was goat's milk. So periodically, you're going to take it out of the microwave and just stir it up. And just use short increments so you don't burn it. Okay, so now it's melted. And the next thing he's going to do is add color. So this is a lime green. You want to make sure that you just put it in a little at a time. And, and you're supposed to stir it really gently because you don't want air bubbles to get into the soap. But if air bubbles get in there and you notice them in the soap once you pour it into the mold, you can spray rubbing alcohol on top and it helps the air, air bubbles to dissipate. Okay, so next he's going to add the basil sage mint fragrance. This is a pretty light fragrance. He's using one pipette. And um, you kind of go easily. Um, this one is a lot less strong than the previous one that we used that was hibiscus. So he went ahead and put in two pipettes of that. So this is some basil essential oil that he's putting. He's putting in just a small amount of this because it's pretty strong. So now it's all mixed in. This is the little thing of rubbing alcohol that we have here. Um, now it's all mixed in, and so he's going to pour it into these silicone molds. Remember, you don't have to. Um, That's really use the green. Lifa. It's super green. The next batch is, I'm not going to put as much color in there. I think it looks pretty though. Okay. I think it looks like maybe it's a like a candy or something. <laughs> now these molds are pretty big. The spaces are pretty big so it's only making three bars of soap per kit. But the molds that come in the packet um, in the kit are much smaller so you get you get more. Uh, and now he's taking the, the mint leaf and just sprinkling it over the top. This is just decorative. You don't have to do this part at all. So that's how it looks when you sprinkle it on the way he just did. On this, on these, he put the sprinkles of stuff at the bottom and then put the loofah on the top and then filled it with soap and some of it stayed at the bottom, we think. Uh, we'll know when, it, when they're hardened. And then some of them uh, came to the surface over here. So I'm assuming that some of these things are, will, will be all throughout the soap. But for this one, you just put it on top. And now you let it sit for, oh, well, overnight. And it should be all hardened up. Okay, here's how the soaps turned out. Um, this is this is really neat. Now, on a couple, on a, three of them, uh, my husband had put the lavender and hibiscus at the bottom of the mold, and then put the loofah in, and the pieces kind of dispersed throughout the whole thing. Um, so we expected that. But then what was interesting is on these, he did not put these on the bottom. He just put them on this, or on the bottom, on the, well, on the bottom of the mold. He put them just on the top, but they sunk and dispersed, which is so nice because they look really pretty. Now on this kind though, and this is where there was mint 
mint leaves. Um, it did not disperse throughout, and I think it's probably because the mint leaves were a lot lighter than the hibiscus and lavender flowers. Here are the ones that came out of the molds, and so um, the molds that came with the kit. So those turned out really pretty. Here's another one right here. This is one where we put two pieces of loofah in there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I like having the stuff just stuck onto the bottom of the soap, the leaves and stuff. Um, I really like how they dispersed throughout on these, so, so we'll know kind of what to do in the future. But anyway, these turned out really pretty, and so we're going to give some of these as part of a Christmas gift. And it was super easy to do. The nice thing is when you do this, it's not like you have to have separate pans or containers to melt the um, in, the soap into or anything, nothing designated just for soap making because it's soap and so it just washes out. Well, it is as simple as that. Uh, the soap turned out really great. We have uh, used one bar of soap. We are in the process of using one bar of soap. As the soap starts to disintegrate, when you're using it, then you get down to where the loofah sponge is, and so then it adds some exfoliating um, to, um, you know, to the soap use, but you don't have to do that. And you can do this with all different kinds of fragrances. You can use whatever kind of essential oils you want to put in. We have decided that in the future, we're going to buy the materials not as part of a kit because it's more expensive that way. We wanted to use a kit just because this is the first time we'd ever done it. And uh, so I think a kit is a nice way to do that. And I'll put a link to a blog post over at my blog at littlegreenfarmhouse.com. And so in that uh, blog post, it will show the steps, but it will also give you a link to where you can buy these kits on amazon.com. In the future though, we're just going to buy some goat's milk soap, just a, you know, plain block, and then uh, go through the steps as we did today, but using our own essential oils and, you know, different things like that, the dried flowers and things like that. So, so yeah, it was super easy. And if this sounds interesting to you, I would strongly encourage you to give it a try. Just a nice way to make your own soap with natural ingredients and also a really nice gift idea as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I'll see you again on Little Green Farmhouse. If you're not a current subscriber, hit that button right there. YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is quite often. So I hope you'll come along with me. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.